Ladies and danglers, good evening. My name is Pickle. I'd like to show you a little difference between first person and third person when it comes to gunfights. Well, I'm just gonna power through this because, well, who wants to watch me loot up? But here's old trusted RPD. This would be perfect to show you exactly what I mean. So we'll start this off by the old sandbags. As you can see, I'm trying to run in and hip fire and it stops shooting every now and then. I don't exactly know why this is, but this problem does not happen in first person. If we just demonstrate, in first person, hip firing, and nothing seems to stop me. It just hip fires freely. And it wouldn't be an old good old pickle video without me killing something, so there you go. One bot down, who knows how many more to go. So I've stolen that bot's RPD, and we'd just like to demonstrate the same thing by the window. The window has zero effect on this, so as you can see, it works in first person, and works in third person. But let's try it by the wall, and we can see this little circular X mark thing that comes up that's like saying, don't park here. That comes up every time you are too close to an object. But if we do it in first person, it doesn't happen. Now I don't want to waste bullets reloading that gun, so I've switched to this, and this is one that's got me every time. This has got me killed hiding behind these cars, and this is what really has got me onto this glitch. So the amount of times I will stop shooting whilst I am jumping and sliding by this car, the wheels stick out a little bit, and they definitely have some sort of effect. I am ADSing to demonstrate here, as I'm sure that's what most of you will do. I have actually removed my ADS button, but as you can see, it is just about the right height to do a little head glitch on the back of this pickup truck. However, this is extremely difficult to do in third person, as for some reason, it will not seem to fire above a certain height. It will just disengage the shoot. So now we are going to demonstrate with the SVD, which if you haven't already heard, is a sniper. Immediately, as you can see, the little X no parking sign comes up. But if I move away from the wall, I can zoom in no problem. Again, in first person, this does not happen. I'm right butt up against the wall, and it has zero effect in first person. Hang on, a little botsky is coming. Oh, second kill for pickle! As you guys know, I have to show some kills every now and then, otherwise this video would be classed as boring as shit. So now we are going to demonstrate this by a piece of broken wall, and as you can see immediately, the X has come up. Now, obviously this is not a wall you can just shoot over very easily, but by bouncing in first person, you can do it. Now, I don't know about you guys, but the blatant difference between first person and third person shooting has gotten me killed many times, especially when it comes to hip fire in close quarters, such as buildings and by walls and by the cars I've demonstrated. Even sandbags are enough to stop your bullets from actually leaving your gun. So everybody, I hope this gives you a little bit of a better understanding between the shooting mechanics in third person and first person, and will hopefully help you improve your play. However, I don't think it's fair that there is such a blatant difference between third person and first person, especially when being too close to something like a sandbag or a wall will stop you firing your gun when really there is no need for it. In first person, you will definitely have the advantage of knowing your gun will not stop shooting for any reason, other than running out of bullets or you just missing the button. Anyway, everybody, please let me know your thoughts below in the comments. Give me a like, uh, like, upvote, or subscribe, or I actually don't know where I'm posting this. I never decide this kind of stuff whilst I'm making these, but you get the picture. Do your stuff, guys, and I hope to see you soon.